In this video, I want to show you how you can get a Power BI report to show up on Microsoft Teams. So here I have a nice Power BI report. By the way, I'm using Power BI Desktop. And it has the slicers and the filters in there. So at this point, you're going to publish that. So I'm going to pick on the Home menu in Power BI. I'm going to come over here and pick on the word Publish. So typically you put it onto your work, your workspace and then it's going to publish it. We're going to get this message. It says success. So once you have that message that says success, I'm going to pick on the word got it here. I'm going to save my power BI report. Now let's go into Microsoft Teams. Now notice how I'm logged on as myself in, uh, into Power BI. So it will be important that you have the, your Microsoft account and you're logged on to Power BI. And when you go into Teams, you log in with the same account, which is probably going to be the case. So now I'm in Microsoft Teams. So on this case, I'm going to pick on the demonstration team and expand that. And I see the general channel. Now, this would be a channel that you're in charge of. If you're not uh, like an admin of the channel, you won't be able to do what I'm about to show you. But if you are, you'll see the plus sign over here where you can add new tabs onto that channel. So I'm going to pick on the plus sign. And there's actually many things we can add in as a tab, including a Word document, a PowerPoint, an Excel spreadsheet, and many others. And I even see Power BI. So I'll pick on Power BI. Now it's going to show you all of your published reports. So again, I put it into my workspace and I called it webinar and there it is. That's the one I just published. So it does have to be published in Power BI. And uh, now I can give the tab a different name. So I'm going to call this one for the tab name. I'll type in Power BI report and I'll pick on save. Let's see what it looks like in Teams now. Notice I have the new tab that's called Power BI Report. And anybody who has access to that channel will now also see that tab. And guess what? The uh, slicers work. See how when I'm using the slicers, the charts are changing. The slicer is working. Uh, this is a slicer for the date that you make in uh, Power BI. The filters over here are working. So it's a fully functional report. That's pretty powerful. And anybody who has access to that channel will be able to see the Power BI report and run it as well. Now they can't change the report, of course. You would do that in Power BI, but they can run the report. All the slices work, the filter works, and everything else. So when you, uh, if you're the owner of that team within Microsoft Teams, you go to the channel and you pick in the plus sign. There you can add various tabs, including Power BI. So that's how we can actually add Power BI in the Microsoft Teams.